and they going out of mind because you looking like you a man of God, T.D. Jakes. Have you ever been swallowed? They're blowing your head because you appear to be a man of God, T.J. Have you ever been swallowed? I say, yes, I have. Have you followed me? If so, I would have been, I would have been, I would have been swallowed up. Have you ever experienced a period of swallowing? Have you been following the most recent dramatic events in the entertainment industry? Monique, the queen of comedy and audacious truths, is escalating her campaign of whistleblowing to previously unheard of heights. Just as the dust was starting to settle, Monique fired another round of revelations, this time targeting Diddy with accusations that had everyone talking and social media buzzing. If you thought her recent revelations about Tyler Perry and Diddy were jaw-dropping, brace yourself for what's coming next. It all began when Monique called out Tyler Perry and revealed some well-guarded secrets. The most reverend T.D. Jakes, yes, you heard correctly. In her most recent shocking revelation, Monique claims to have footage of T.D. Jake engaging in some extremely unsettling behavior with none other than Diddy. The footage, in Monique's opinion, depicts acts that are both shocking and unbelievable, allegedly involving the sacrifice of young boys. This isn't just another famous person. Food is a claim that has the potential to rock both religious communities and popular culture. Now at the center of a scandal storm, T.D. Jake, who is well known for his leadership in the church and motivational lectures, Given the seriousness of Monique's allegations, her supporters and admirers are in disbelief, seeking explanations and sifting through the confusion to find the truth. So what's really going on? Is there merit to Monique's accusations? Or is this just another development in her conflict with Hollywood's elite? If you thought the entire Oprah Winfrey, Lee Daniels, and Tyler Perry story was intense, Brace yourselves, because things are about to get even juicier this time around. Monique has set her sights on none other than the man of God himself, T.D. Jakes, so here's the scoop. Monique is fearless and unapologetic in her mission to expose what she sees as the dark underbelly of the industry. Rumor has it that Monique has become interested in a rather scandalous video of T.D. Jakes. Monique is known for not holding back when she has something to say. So when this happens, she's not afraid to spill the beans and let everyone know what's going down. But what exactly is in this video? And what could be so shocking that it has Monique ready to unleash another storm of revelations? Let's take a moment to delve into the details and see what all the fuss is about. Grab a popcorn during a boisterous stand-up show in Louisville on April 12. Monique made headlines with her daring commentary about well-known preacher Bishop T.D. Jakes and Hollywood heavyweight Tyler Perry. She alluded to a sermon Jake gave in December in which he encouraged his congregation to come out of the closet. Monique, who is renowned for her no-holds-barred approach, didn't hold back when interpreting Jake's remarks. She joked, then why is everyone talking about dis sucking on the pulpit? I've swallowed, have you? In a provocative way that pushed boundaries in typical Monique fashion. However, she didn't stop there. She also turned her attention to Tyler Perry. This isn't the first time Monique has been outspoken about individuals in Hollywood and the entertainment industry. She has previously called out what she sees as hypocrisy and unfair treatment within the industry. Her latest set seems to continue that trend. Audiences in Louisville were treated to a tan of laughter mixed with biting social commentary as Monique once again proved that she's unafraid to speak her mind no matter how provocative her opinions may be. Monique took a playful jab at the renowned actor and filmmaker specifically targeting his well-known character, Mada, following Monique's performance. Fans had mixed feelings. While some praised her return to raw, unapologetic comedy, others were less than thrilled with her bold approach and willingness to take on contentious subjects head-on, calling to mind the classic stand-up comedy that pushed boundaries, 
others were less than thrilled with her bold style, believing that her remarks were disrespectful and that she was misinterpreting Bishop T.D. She thought that her interpretation was not only inaccurate, but also unjustly inflammatory. Given that Jake's lecture, they pointed out, was about spiritual challenges rather than anything of seeing. Additionally, a larger discussion about whether or not pastors should be off-limits in comedy was spurred by Monique Set. Others cautioned that her remarks could result in serious backlash, pointing out her history of conflicts in Hollywood, including accusations against Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey of blackballing her in the business. They suggested that this latest controversy might rekindle old tensions and possibly harm her career, adding to the mix. Still others defended her right to include them in her jokes, arguing that pastors are human and can be subject to humor like anyone else. The jokes Monique told about Bishop T.D. Jake arrived during a period in which she was involved in a scandal surrounding Sean Diddy Combs. Here's the scoop. Diddy was the target of a lawsuit, and Jake was drawn into it on the grounds that he had attended parties where certain dubious activities were purported to have taken place. Jake's though he's been denying these claims left and right, even addressing them in a roundabout way during a Christmas Eve service you know. He's just trying to set their record straight and keep his reputation intact. But hey, scandal, or not Jake is still out there doing some good in the world. He recently teamed up with Wells Fargo to drop a cool $1.5 million on the Jackie Robinson Foundation Talk about giving back, it's all about empowering the next generation of leaders, and Jake is all in on that mission. So with Monique cracking jokes about Jake, while all this drama is swirling around him, it's like adding fuel to the fire writer comedy is hitting on some pretty sensitive topics. And it's got people chatting about where the line is when it comes to poking fun at public figures especially when they're caught up in some messy business, you know, some folks are saying Monique was spot on bringing up T.D. Jake in her routine. I mean, think about it. If Jake really had nothing to do with Diddy's scandalous mess, why would his name even come up in that lawsuit? It's not like Jake is just your average Joe. He's a bishop for crying out loud. You think someone in his position would steer clear of anything remotely if Monique is cracking jokes. She's just posing questions that many people are likely wondering about. It's like shedding light on the elephant in the room. If Jake is innocent, then hey, he has nothing to worry about. But if there's even a hint of truth to those accusations, well, it's fair game for comedy, right? Shady, why would a religious man like himself be at a party that ain't nothing but sin, though? Let's face it, in the realm of comedy, Inconsistencies are inevitable, so Monique isn't exactly out there attempting to destroy people's reputations. Rather, she's just pointing them out and raising the necessary concerns. Nothing is off bounds, particularly when it comes to public individuals who may not be as pure as they appear. And she's not the only one who called him out. There could be two possible explanations for